What's going on guys, I'm Danny, and thank you for checking out my channel, Blu-ray Dan. Now once again, we have another really, really awesome Blu-ray unboxing slash review for you guys today. This time it's going to be for the Blu-ray DVD and digital HD combo pack of 10 Cloverfield Lane. Now this title is released by Paramount Pictures and will be in stores on Tuesday, June 14th, 2016. Now just like my last video, this is not just going to be one Blu-ray unboxing edition. I think I said that right. But that's because we also have the Best Buy exclusive steelbook of 10 Cloverfield Lane. So like always, I'm just going to go right into this unboxing for you guys real quick, and then we're going to head on back here for the review, and yeah. But before I do that, I just want to ask you guys a really brief favor. Once you're done watching this video, if you could please head over and check out my last video. It was the unboxing for both the regular version and the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for 13 hours of Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. It hasn't been getting that much love, and I really think it deserves a little bit more. So if you guys could do me a favor, like I said, once you're done with this one, go check that one out for me. But alright guys, without wasting any more time, let's get into these unboxings right now. All right, guys, so here we go. Here we have the regular Blu-ray DVD and digital HD combo pack of 10 Cloverfield Lane. Now, as you can see right off the bat, we got something a little different going on here, so I'm going to explain that in a second. First off, let's talk about the slipcover or the partial slipcover, whatever you want to call it. Right here at the top right, we have the title 10 Cloverfield Lane, and underneath that to the left, we have John Goodman's character, and next to him, we have the main character in the movie. I forget her name. There's no embossing or anything, but we get a nice glossy slipcover, and I really like the dark, dark tone that it has. It's all black, and it really makes the characters pop. But there's no embossing or anything like that, so let's move on. Now, if we go ahead and turn this to the spine, you'll see right here is the missing part of the slipcover, but in the center we have 10 Cloverfield Lane, and of course at the bottom we have, uh, it says two disc set, Blu-ray, and DVD right there. Now, what's really cool is on the back you'll see we get a really, really nice detailed slipcover. Sadly, it's not all the way around, but we still get a nice slipcover. Right at the top we get outside is dangerous, inside is terrifying, and there underneath that's the plot of the movie. To the left of that we have John Goodman and his uh, character looking kind of menacing looking through the door, and below that we get just a, a whole mix of screenshots and quotes which are really really cool. Right underneath the quote says riveting, gripping, and loaded with tension and that is from Access Hollywood. To the right of that we get another screenshot of the main character and then uh, another screenshot of all the characters right there. All the way on this side we get another screenshot of all the characters in one of the most intense periods of the movie. Right here it says smartly chilling and finally spectacular and that is from the New York Times. We get another screenshot right there that says help and then here we have the bonus features. At the top it says disc one which is the Blu-ray feature film and the special features. The first one is the commentary by the director and although it doesn't say it, these right here are the featurettes which include bunker mentality, duck and cover, spin off, Kelvin optical, fine tuned and end of story. And right underneath that it says disc two the DVD feature film. Now below that as usual we just get some information on the digital copy and then just the regular specs of the Blu-ray. So now let's ahead and let's take this half slip cover off and yeah really strange let's put that down right there and as you can see there is a difference underneath the slip cover up at the top we get the really dark and really crazy looking colored sky we get the house right there and then this line that leads to the word lane is pretty much like the tunnel that goes all the way down of course right here we have the title that says 10 cloverfield lane but what i really like is the little words that we get here it says monsters come in many forms so that's really cool now we do get the same spine but on the back although we get the same information we just get a little bit of a different layout so let's just go to the inside so first up on the inside we get the digital copy paper it's nothing too special just gonna place that right there now I also got something with this set I'm not sure if this is gonna be coming with every package but I got some puzzle pieces which are pretty cool which I actually just think I figured out what they are. Um, these are missing puzzle pieces from something. If you watch the movie, you will see. Really, really nice touch. I'm going to go ahead and place that down right there. Now, aside from that, we just get a very, very plain DVD and Blu-ray disc right there. No artwork on them and no artwork on the inside as well. Of course, you guys know that I'm not happy about that. I never liked that. I think we always deserve some inside artwork, but that's pretty much it. So now let's go ahead and let's take this puzzle piece right here and let's put that back in. And now let's go ahead and grab this digital copy and let's place that inside. Let's close this bad boy up and grab this really half slip cover thing. We're going to put that back on right there. And yeah, guys, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of this half slip cover or three quarter slip cover. It really, really does bother me. I think it would have looked so much nicer if it was a full slip. Hopefully some store gets the full thing or I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not sure why they went with that. So, okay, that's that's pretty much it with this one. Let's uh, let's put this down right there and let's go to the main event now. So, all right guys, here she is. Here is the one that we have all been waiting for. This is the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. And uh, as you can see, I have not opened this up myself yet. I wanted to save the surprise for you guys as well. Now, right here, we got a sticker to the left. It says, buy this Blu-ray and get a bonus digital HD of the original film Cloverfield. That's a really, really nice touch. Uh, I think that's really cool that they did that. But aside from that, of course, we get the only at best 
Best Buy steelbook packaging sticker right underneath. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and let's take this plastic wrap off and let's see what we got underneath. So, now to my surprise, it's actually not a glossy steelbook. I thought that this one was, but I'm actually not too mad about it. It kind of still has a really nice slick look. So, as you can see right here up at the top in the doorway, we get the silhouette of John Goodman's character and we have a bunch of stairs that go down but get bigger as they go down. What I really, really love is the wording that we get once again. Uh, monsters come in many forms and then the title 10 Cloverfield Lane. I absolutely love the red and black colors. Uh, I did see something where I thought it was going to be maybe green and blue or something else, but I'm still a fan of this. I love red and black. Those are my favorite color combination, if you will. If we turn here to the spine, we just get a very, very plain one. Right here at the top left, we get the Paramount sign. In the middle, we get 10 Cloverfield Lane. It's all black and then the Blu-ray sign at the bottom. If we turn to the back, we have the J card right here, which of course right at the top says uh, Blu-ray DVD Digital HD and then 10 Cloverfield Lane right there. But yeah, then we get the same artwork as we did uh, on the back of the regular Blu-ray. So let's go ahead and let's take this J card off and see what we got underneath. Now, uh, wow, that is awesome. Let's let's take a look at this. I'm just going to put this J card down right there. So we do get the blue that I was just talking about. Once again, in the doorway, we get the silhouette of the main character. And again, I forget her name. And then we get the stairs going down. That is really, really cool. I like that touch a lot. Now at the bottom, we get the Bad Robot logo, the Steelbook wording, and then the Paramount sign right there. Now if we open it up of course we have the regular original Cloverfield digital copy and then the other side is the other version now I'm gonna talk about the discs real quick even though I'm seeing something really awesome there uh, we get the regular blu-ray 10 Cloverfield Lane let's take that out let's put that down then we get the 10 Cloverfield Lane DVD which of course is another blank disc now you can see right here guys like I just got done saying when I saw the cover that I also wanted the blue and the green well we got the green right there we got the red right there and then the blue right there this time as you can see again in the doorway we get the silhouette of the other character. I believe his name is Emmett. And then we have him at the top of the stairs and the stairs get bigger as they go down. Very simple, but really, really awesome. But yeah, guys, there it is. Now let's pack this bad boy back up. Let's get the DVD back up in there at the top. Let's go ahead and grab that Blu-ray and put that in right there. Let's go ahead and grab that digital copy, place that inside. We're going to close this bad boy up and let's grab the J card and let's throw that on there as well. But all right, guys, awesome. Once again, I just want to say thank you guys very much. I really appreciate you watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed both unboxings for the Blu-ray DVD and digital HD combo packs of 10 Cloverfield Lane. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those unboxings. Now let's put this right here and let's get into the review portion of the video. So real quick, I'm just going to read the plot on the back. It says, outside is dangerous, inside is terrifying. In the deliciously twisted new thriller from producer J.J. Abrams, that's big on chills. After a catastrophic car crash, a young woman wakes up in a survivalist underground bunker. He claims to have saved her from an apocalyptic attack that has left the outside world unhabitable. But as his increasingly suspicious actions lead her to question his motives, she'll have to escape in order to discover the truth. Now, just like the plot on the back said, the movie starts off with a car crash. Michelle just went through some stuff that we don't really get a clear look into, and she decides to leave where she was staying and run away. Now, while she's driving, she's getting constant phone calls from her boyfriend who she just left, or her fiance, sorry, who she just left. And while she's looking down at the phone, she gets into a really, really bad car accident. Next thing you know, she's waking up in this underground bunker. She doesn't know where she is. She's chained to the wall. In comes John Goodman's character named Howard, and he tells her that she can't leave because the outside world has gone to hell. He said the air's unbreathable and the world is uninhabitable like they said right there. There's a lot going on out there and it could be a military attack, it could be nuclear warfare, or it could be aliens. So you see her character's confused. I completely understand. I would be too. You don't know whether to believe this person. You don't know what's going on. I personally would not believe him. We also have another character in there named Emmett, who you find out fought his way in because he knew the world was going to hell and he saw a big red flash in the sky. So yeah, so he fought his way into the bunker. Howard didn't want him in there. Howard just wanted to be alone. And hearing this helps Michelle feel a little bit better because there's somebody else telling her that the world's going crazy. And it's not just this one guy who's telling her a story. This movie really puts you through a lot of different emotions. In the beginning, you're scared. You don't know what's going on. On, you don't know what the character's motives are, and throughout it, things happen that you kind of understand where the characters are coming from. My emotions and feelings towards the character Howard, who's played by John Goodman, was all over the place. I mean, one second I thought he was crazy, I thought he was nuts. The next second I understood where he was coming from and I was completely with him. And then just, it all went back to crazy again. And there's a lot, a lot of different emotions. You'll see what I'm saying if you watch the movie. Now I gotta say, I honestly love the cast. Each one of them have different personalities and they all portray their characters so, so well. John Goodman does such a great job. This is probably my favorite role from him because he's just, he's so versatile in this movie alone. The actress who plays Michelle does a fantastic job. I don't know if I've seen her in other movies or not, but I absolutely 
absolutely love what she did with this character. And finally, we have Emmett, who's like the most likable character that I've ever seen before. He adds such a nice, I don't know if I want to say innocent touch and innocent tone to this movie, but he really does. Now, I really briefly want to talk about the relation of this movie, 10 Cloverfield Lane, to the original Cloverfield. There really is none. If you guys are going into this movie like I personally did, thinking that there is going to be a connection, there's not. Now, I know originally they said that there really wasn't going to be much of one, but there really wasn't much of one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I know they mentioned that there really wasn't going to be a really close connection, but if you're using the Cloverfield name, I think there should have been something. The movie would have been completely fine. It would have done fine on its own. I kind of feel like they used the Cloverfield name as a crutch. In one way, it definitely helped with uh, sales of ticket sales, but I also think in another way, the movie could have done really, really well without the Cloverfield name, and I just think that adding the Cloverfield title kind of gives away a big important plot within the movie. Now before moving on to the next thing, I also want to say that I am a huge Cloverfield fan, the original. It takes place in New York where I'm from. I love the found footage feel to it, everything. It just, I loved it. So sitting in the theater, when I was watching it, I couldn't enjoy it as much as I would have liked to because I was looking for something. I was looking for connections and I was waiting for it. But I will say that watching it a second time on Blu-ray helped it a hell of a lot better. Because now I went into the movie knowing what was not gonna be in it and what was gonna be in it and it just, it allowed me to see it without uh, w without any criticism. Now I gotta mention the visuals. What I really like about this movie are that on the shots that needed to be very crisp and clear, they were very crisp and clear. There was a gritty feel occasionally, a gritty, uh, a gritty look, but it really didn't bother me. It kind of added a little bit of, I don't know, something to the film. And also, guys, I gotta talk about the music and uh, all the sound effects. It was so, so nicely done. You could feel the intense moments. The the instruments that they use, which you find out in the special features, are so, so pulse-pounding. I don't know how else to explain it. You felt them being scared. You felt when they were happy and laughing, the light-hearted tone to it at times, and then the very darker and terrifying tones as well. They did a great, great job with that. We also got a nice handful of special features to go through as well. First and foremost, we get a commentary by the director, uh, Dan Trachberg. Bergenberg and uh, producer J.J. Abrams. Next up, we get a handful of featurettes that are really cool. First, we get Cloverfield 2, which kind of goes over how they created the world and the environment. We get Bunker Mentality, which goes over how they looked into creating the bunker and creating the feel. And we get some cool other ones called Duck and Cover. Uh, we get Spin Off. We get to see how they spun and created the special effects for that car accident. We get Kelvin Optical, which uh, talks about how they made all the visual effects. And then we get Fine Tuned, which goes over all the sound effects and the musical standpoints, uh, all the instruments that they used and, and how they came up with which ones that they wanted to use. Then we get End of Story, which it talks about how the movie ended. Uh, I can't go much into that one because I don't want to give it away. But there's a lot to go into and I mean, it gives you about 30 something minutes to watch extra. But yeah, that's pretty much what we get from this Blu-ray. Now, overall from the movie, the Blu-ray, everything, I really enjoy this movie. Again, in the beginning when I first saw it in theaters, I didn't love it as much as I would hope to and I kind of came out very disappointed Pointed, but watching it a second time at home and understanding what I'm getting into really, really, really helped uh, my opinions on it. It's well acted, it's well shot, it's very unique, but again, I didn't love that there was not a connection that I was hoping for, so it did have, you know, some down points as well. But I will say that this is definitely one of my favorites of the year now after my second watch. But alright guys, that's it for the review portion of this video. Now as always, I have a couple questions for you guys. First up, have you guys seen this movie and what did you think of it? If you have seen it, what do you think of John Goodman's performance? What do you think about the way that they connected it to the original Cloverfield? And finally, will you be picking this movie up on Blu-ray? And which version will you be picking up? The regular version or the Steelbook? But alright guys, that's it for the questions. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you could please do me a favor and hit that like button and give me a thumbs up. Please leave your comments in the comment box down below. Share your video around to all your family and friends. It would mean the world to me and it would also mean the world if you would subscribe to my channel because, you know, I got a lot more videos coming out and I want all of you to see them and more of you to see them. If you would like to follow me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Facebook and my Facebook group, Movie Craze. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or my official website, BluRayDan.com. Or if you'd like to check out my other YouTube channels, you can go to All Legend Studios for pranks and sketches and slash or Legendverse for real life superhero battles. But alright guys, that's it. It's officially the end of the video. Thank you Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, I'm Danny, and this is the Blu-ray Dan channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.